You're with Julian on the brown notes and I've got so much catching up to do because I've got a new job and I've barely been able to record anything so I'm doing a really old album review. I've got like about eight albums recently that I want to review. So this is James Holden, the uh, UK wonder kid from Devon um, who's released some of the most forward thinking and imaginative electronic music out there uh, in his new album Imagine this is a high dimensional space of all possibilities. Is I think uh, my favorite electronic release of the year. It's been a pretty rough year for, um, for music. Um, the opening you're clearing, um, I feel love I've written down here. I've written, I wrote this all down ages ago. Got a bit of a uh, Silver Apples vibe, 60s electronica vibe. Um, very sort of warped phasing, um, a bit kraut rocky as well, which is very him, I think. Um, sort of almost like um, Harmonia uh, Deluxe, that era of uh, kraut rock electronica. Um, Orbital Crop Up on contains Multitudes, uh, one of the longest tracks, the longest track on the album. Um, Orbital seems like a centre place, wildly complicated. He does brilliant percussion. Um, he's as far away from four to the floor percussion programming as you can get lots of live percussion in his music as well almost slips into like cuban salsa music at times um with a piano as well um you just never know where you're going with his tracks and his albums have been brilliant so far um very psychedelic um again three common land very inventive per uh, percussion um sort of rainforesty vibe very sort of calls to nature throughout this whole album Future Sound of London, sort of Papua New Guinea sort of vibe. Um, it never quite sort of takes off, but um, like the tension sort of stays there to the end, um, which is fairly true of the album. He doesn't ever go for those um, slam dunk routes to sort of like, here's a big payoff. He sort of avoids obviousness throughout his music. Trust Your Feet, track four, uh, big track, um, lower keys, um, like 90s garage sort of um, synths, if you know what I mean. Um, the Missing Key got a bit of Aphex Twin, who's come back. Aphex Twin's come back. He's coming back. Um, so, like, got a really cohesive color palette to the album. Um, he does make whole albums as well, rather than, like, focusing on individual tracks that might stand alone so much. Um, very sort of um, sculpted and curated and using a similar a, a palette that is designed to make an album as a whole. He's a very much an album artist. Um, in the end, you'll know, he's got really uh, strobing um, arpeggios, um, very exciting track. It's probably the, the most, or the first normal house beat on the album, uh, quite minimalist Detroit. Um, track seven is like got a bit of a tangerine dream vibe, continuous revolution. Um, and again, great live percussion. Um, I actually picked up Milo on uh, Four Ways Down the Valley. Whatever happened to Milo? One album. One album. And that was it. The album was huge. Yes, I've written down Sunny California. There was that track, wasn't there, on the, um, on the Milo album. Um, there's not really any big song on the album that stands out. It's like they're all pieces of this album length uh, puzzle. I've written down Medieval Cro-Magnon, which is just awesome, for track 9, uh, Wells Collide Mountains Form. Um, a g incredible look up Cro-Magnon uh, and their amazing music from the like 1970. Bagpipes, medieval torture, <laughs> insanity, absolute insanity. Uh, Mystic Moves Orchestra as well on um, The Answer Is Yes, another great psychedelic uh, progressive outfit doing instrumental music around the end of the 60s and the start of the 70s a nice psychedelic guitar on that uh track 11 infinite fade out's got really <coughs> luxurious warm bars synths to it uh and uh the postcode track i've written down what's this you can never go back which is like the uh i don't know what i made of that yeah anyway as a, as a whole i thought it was another incredibly you know he's he never goes for the easy option, and it always feels like he's spent an awful amount of time building an album organically. He's one of the most organic-sounding electronic music producers out there. The percussion is never 
a drum machine just going do do do. It's always all over the shop and lots and lots of live instrumentation in this music. Uh, I've seen him live as well and he's um, done some really, really fantastic live performances with full bands as well. So he's a he's like kind of to the the left or the right of a lot of electronic music acts that get a claim where it's all synthetic music i maybe say four tat or someone where you can sort of hear it's all drum machines and synths he's got a very flowery psychedelic feel to his music i thought it's a very strong album so i'm going to give james holden and this is a high dimensional space of all possibilities an eight and a half out of ten